what it's like. This is the thing. Professionalism. Uh, this is another recruiting school, and at that point, we go strictly to the cafeteria uh, campus, have lunch there. Climatize, come back, we've got a meeting with the head coach, assistant coach, and from there it's full question period, video from their school, tour of their rehabilitation facilities, same kind of thing as we did yesterday with Maryland. This one, try to be prepared with a few more questions. This is your time to kind of figure out whether this is a school for you. Uh, ask those questions that you've got. Yesterday we asked a few, but uh, this is your time to utilize as you see fit and ask those things that are pertinent to you. You know, recruitment process is going to follow, but this is on-field attitude, performance, off-field stuff, management of class and courses, uh, management of those players' times and things to this extent. Ask those type of pieces when we're in front of this guy. Uh, renowned coach in a, in a very good school. So just think of that while you're on the, on the trip going. their cleats in the in the little closet there um, but other than that it's it's a it's just a nice space so we if we need to we can meet in here we try not to be in here too much because we like to have the guys be able to have this be their, their, their space um, where we typically meet with the guys is upstairs but we'll show you next so we do the lockers by number so whatever number you take is the locker you move into so if you really if you fancy a corner locker then you have to figure out what number that is <laughs> right. That's the one you need. So, so if you had to choose your number which one would you choose again Eleven. <laughs> you need help figuring out what you want to major in. Uh, anything academically, she's been here for a very long time, and she helps our players through that. And she's a good resource. So all of our freshmen will meet with Shelly once a week or once every two weeks, depending on how nervous we are about you, right? And she monitors your time management. She monitors your progress. And if you start falling behind, we'll know about it very quickly. Uh, midway through the semester, she checks with all your professors and asks how it is player X doing in the class. And then we get a good feel for how you're, you're progressing. Uh, and if we're worried about anything there, we usually find that out. Learning how to, to handle your business, learning how to time manage, making decisions with what you do with your, your time from five to seven. What you do with your time on a Friday night? How, do you have time to go out to a movie or, or on, on town with the friends, or do you need to stay in and, and spend that time studying? How many of you guys are hoping to go to college in the States? How many of you guys like that would be kind of exciting, right? Majority of it. I had a kid that we, we said no to as a young junior, a local kid, this was years ago. Uh, I, I, I said, no, listen, I'm a super nice kid, but I was like, I think you're a Division three player, you know, athletically, you're not that, so maybe you should, you should look at a Division three option and do this. He's like, okay, thanks, just kind of took it. And then 12 months later, nobody had taken him. I think he'd grown a lot, super determined kid. And he always was that as a sort of a younger guy. Uh, and we watched him play for his local kid, played against DC United's academy in a local game. And like he ran, he ran the game, ran, just ran. And then um, fantastic. And, and so I went back to the kid and said, hey, I know I said I wasn't interested in you a year ago, but I am now. Are you, would you be interested still in Georgetown? And he's like, absolutely, right? And so we got him here. And I then said to him, you're probably gonna maybe understudy for a couple years. You probably won't play that much until maybe your junior year would be my guess. I was pretty honest with him. And uh, of course, what happens? He starts playing a lot as a freshman. And he wasn't the most technical kid um, that he had. He wasn't the fastest kid. He wasn't, there was nothing to him other than the fact that he just was super competitive. What is a must have? 
one that played with Georgetown. Drive, right? Right. So everybody's got different things. But one common, the one common thing for us is you have to, you have to have an ability with the ball. You goalkeeper? Yes. Right. You got the hair on the sides, right? So that's <laughs> you that out, right? same thing happens for goalkeepers. If your feet aren't good enough, it, 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 you're not going to play. Okay. So whether you're a forward, center mid, center back, left back, right back. If you're not comfortable under pressure with the ball, if you can't make good decisions, if you're just a blunt object that just smacks balls, and, then, then we're not going to be, we're not going to like you, right? We need you to play, right? We need you to be positionally savvy too, but you got to be able to play. You got to be able to connect through pass. You got to connect through pressure. That's the first thing that's really important. If you're a great athlete and you don't have great feet, and we're like, boy, that athlete's really tempting. We like him, but like he's going to be frustrating. If you're a one v one artist and you're great at dribbling guys, but you can't connect and pass, so eventually you're gonna have a hard time with us. How many of you guys wouldn't mind playing for this coach? In short of hands. Uh, if you, uh, all right, you're off. Who else? <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Yeah, it's, a, it's just it's a transition. It's a personalized thing. Uh, this is a fantastic opportunity, and, and thanks for doing this. Well, we look forward to you guys coming. You, this is this is good. I mean, I think the, the for us, anytime we don't play against ourselves, the guys are excited. So that's this is this would be good, and, and obviously. Uh, you know, for you guys to get down and visit schools and see kind of what it's all about is, is great. So I just, I think hopefully it's a good game. Thank you guys for making the effort to get down here. You guys drove a lot farther than we did. So thank you for doing that. Anyone know where Georgetown was founded? Seven, seven, ah, you guys are better than me. They come in or out the doors and they walk all the way around the insignia. Because if you if you step on the insignia, if you haven't got to Georgetown, it's bad luck and it's kind of like you won't get in. Here's a... And he goes around and he goes in. <laughs> He's like, what the hell? Is going on? I just like the sun. Hey, Georgetown Lee. Which one are you getting? <laughs> Georgetown. Pair with this, Max. You'll look, you'll look sick, bro. Pair with this. Oh. When Max goes golfing, he pulls, the, he pulls this out. Max, thank you, bro. I'm going go golfing with the boys. Georgetown, you know, it's a beautiful school. Very interesting. Lots of history here. I just like the sun. We are now ready to fly. This is a bit departure. We are the third in line to go. Jay, please come up the front of the bus to do a beatbox, please. Jay, Arjun Mystery, come. We want to know how to do a shrimp curry. <laughs> Patrick Brown, we want to know about hair advice. Hair product, beauty product, please. Come up to the front. You want you to tell what shampoo you use for your beauty hair. Leonardo Lucanolo, we want to know what kind of mascara you use for your eyelashes. <laughs> I tell Murph to come up front to say the ABC, but he will miss a letter. <laughs> minutes when you step out on that field you're spending 90 minutes 90 minutes that will never come back these 90 minutes can determine your future they can change your whole life if you use them correctly during this limited time you must work harder than the rest 
You must do your best. No matter what the scoreboard says, you must give your all. No matter what anyone says.